momentarily. The boys game will be starting. I'm Lucas Tuberville with my partner Parker Huddle and we're back for the boys game. Rams stay on the Whitehall Bulldogs. Lakeside currently sitting at 9-9, nine and nine, 500 of the year, 4-5 and five in conference. Coming off a win against Texarkana, 60-48. to 48. Currently sitting on a three-game win streak, Parker. Yeah, and they're coming into a game tonight against Whitehall, who's 13-9, and 5-4 and in conference. They just beat El Dorado by 5, 73-68. Win snap, a three-game losing streak. And the last game, Deshaun Hayes, the star player for Whitehall, had 32 points, three steals, and three blocks. And Randy Emerson Jr. had 14 points and four steals. So if the Rams want to win tonight, they got to lock down those two players. As Deshaun Hayes, who's a sophomore, standing at six foot Good seven, evening, welcome to the lake side. he's Welcome averaging to close to 35 a game for Whitehall. Between the Whitehall Bulldogs and your Lakeside Rams. And now for the starting lineups. First for Whitehall, at guard, a sophomore, number 22, Keelan Odigby. At forward, a senior, number five, Christian Townsend. At guard, a senior, number 24, Keelan Stone. At forward, a junior, number 30, Randy Emerson. At guard, a sophomore, number three, Jay Hayes. The Bulldogs are coached by Josh Hayes, Mike Hawkins, and Marquise Chenet. And now, the starting lineup for your Lakeside Rams. At guard, the junior, number one, Jacob Hermosillo. At guard, the sophomore, number three, Sloan Hayes. Senior, number five, Toll Douglas. At forward, a junior, number 14, Skyler Purifor. And at forward, a junior, number 23, A.J. Howard. The Rams are coached by Eddie Lamb, Brandon Burton. Saw them announce the starting five. Here's a look at them. Sloan Hayes, Jacob Hermosillo, Told Douglas, and stars of the offense, A.J. Howard and Skylar Purifoy, both averaging 12 points per game. And Sloan Hayes has been a great distributor of the ball the last two games. 14 assists over his last two games. And Whitehall will start with the ball in the hands of Jay Sean Hayes, who I believe holds an offer from Ole Miss. Many more are soon to come. The 6'7 point guard. Good start for the Rams, getting a steal here early. Looks like Whitehall came out of zone. Double team told Douglas. And it's out of bounds on Toll. Whitehall started the game aggressively, defensively. See how Coach Lamb is playing to stop Deshaun Hayes, the star for Whitehall. And the shot is good for Deshaun Hayes. Can't give him that easy of a look or it'll be a long night for the Rams. He's too good of a shooter to give him that much space. Great shot by Toll Douglas. That's why he's in the starting lineup, because he can shoot the lights out, catch and shoot. That was a great shot. Rams up 3-2, 6-42 to go. Masio three, no good. He's shooting 35% from three this year. Yeah, that's a shot the Rams want Hermosillo to take. 
as much as possible. He's a great shooter, 35% for three. Stone, deep three, bang! Keaton Stone for the Bulldogs, gets it to go. Ball goes out of bounds again. It will stay with Whitehall, or it'll go to Whitehall. Great shot by Tobago. The wide open man. And I got a travel call on Jason Hayes. Hayes tips the inbound pass out of bounds. Rams are having a little bit of trouble early here breaking the press. That was their poem against Lake Hamilton, too, on January 6th. The Wolves ran a press defense all game and had a ton of points. If you notice, Purfoy still has a bandage on that left pinky index finger area that he injured. Actually dislocated against Lake Hamilton a few games ago. First free throw's good. So Pierre Foy showing his toughness, playing through injury tonight. That was a big loss for him against Lake Hamilton. He it went was. out at the very beginning of the game. Yep, first play I think. Didn't five to five. Didn't seem to affect him on the free throws. Stone, deep three. No good, rebound Pierre Foy. Sloan Hayes, great job, elite passing so far in this possession, another great pass, and the bucket goes to A.J. Howard, Sloan Hayes, making it work on that possession. Great pass by Sloan Hayes, but no drop off, leads to the deuce, 7-5 right side. No good rebound, Sloan Hayes. Rams up seven to five. Hayes again getting out of the trap. Pass was looking for Howard, went right through his hands. Out of bounds on Lakeside. Hayes will bring it down for Whitehall. Got to settle down if you're the Rams. Three on the way and good for Jay Sean Hayes. He's can't, got five. Can't give him any space, Lucas, or it'll be a bad night for the Rams. Good play. Purifoy doesn't get foul. to go. They don't call a foul, but that, they will call a foul on I'm Howard. sorry, that, that's a foul. You can't shove a dude in the back when he's going for a layup. You got to blow your whistle. Howard will shoot two. Anyway, what is the saying like choke on a whistle, like choke on your whistle, or like what is it? He choked on his whistle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that. Swallowed his whistle. It's one of those. First free throw's good. <laughs> Second free throw's no good for Howard. Looks like the Rams were playing man on that possession and it worked out, they forced a turnover. And they had a matchup to look at, they had A.J. Howard guarding Deshaun Hayes. Eight to eight, under four minutes to go. Great passing for the Rams, Howard is fouled again. Good aggressive move by A.J. Howard. Seems pretty evident the Rams want to attack the basket early. Free throws, no good. Going 
going to try and break the tie with this one. Misses both. Hayes will bring it down. And they're back to the zone. Stone, great job by Hermosillo to close out. And it's stolen away by Lakeside. Dangerous pass, but it still gets to Purifoy. Puts up a shot, not even, no good. It might have been tipped, because you don't see Purifoy in this that shot. I think it was deflected on the way up. Eight to eight, 320 to go in the first quarter. Hayes shots no good. Rebound Douglas gets to Hermosillo. Purifoy, great job. Manning his way to the basket. Great move by Purifoy. He's got four points for the Rams. Yeah, that makes the score 10 to eight, Lakeside. Stone, three, no good this time. Rebound, Sloan Hey, Been doing it all. Both sides, both ends of the court. That's a good job by Toll Douglas That's on the- great pass, but it's kind of tipped out of bounds. On the contest on that three from Ethan Stone. Three for Lakeside, got it! Great shot by number two, Evan Eastwood. That's why he's in the game. He can really shoot it. 13-8 Rams. Two minutes to go in the first. Three from Whitehall. No good. Rebound River Cook. Driving great bucket. Sloan Hayes, that would be eight points per game this season. Gets a kill there. Great shot by Sloan Hayes as he got it over the six sevens of Sean Hayes. Open three, no good. Back to the rebound, great job by Howard. Keeps it by Sloan Hayes again. With a minute to go, 15 to eight, makes side up. Wood to Howard. 50 seconds. 10 on the shot clock. Howard driving, put up a shot. No good. Cook rebound. Gets a put back. River Cook. Great play by River Cook. Catching the air ball, putting it right back up and in. Great start for the Rams as they have a nine point lead. 30 seconds to go. Anderson, no good, but man, I think he stopped the ball. He's got two minutes. 120 seconds to go, no shot clock. The Rams have done a great job, both sides of the ball. So I'm going to try and drive from a shot. No good, but he's fouled. And he will head to the line. Great aggressive play right now by Sam Higgs as he looks to add on to the lead. See if they can go into the second quarter with a double digit lead, that would be huge. I think part of the problem right now for Whitehall is they're not getting the ball to Jashawn Hayes enough. I mean, he had five early points and haven't really heard from him since. Gotta look to get him the ball more if you're Whitehall and Rams are doing a great job keeping the ball from Deshaun Hayes. He makes 
Bowl, making the score 19 to eight. Three seconds to go. Hayes puts up a shot, no good. 19 to eight, great first quarter for the Rams. Here's a look at Sloan Hayes. Great point guard for the Rams. Uh, I think they got the, I don't know. Yep, good stats for Sloan Hayes. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Success. Rams will start the ball here in the second, start with the ball in the second quarter. It's a good shot though for the Rams. Howard can hit that shot. Foul called on Lakeside. And it looks like based off that first possession, Whitehall wants to get the ball into the hands of Sean Hayes a little bit more often. As he immediately draws a foul. Rebound. Bit of a miscommunication there, the Rams. Yeah, it looked like Howard thought Douglas was just gonna, or excuse me, Eastwood was just gonna stay there, but Eastwood was back cutting. Great job defensively on Keaton Stone. Hayes shots up, no good. And we're gonna jump ball. Whitehall will retain possession. It looked like the ball was loose when he called the jump ball, but I guess not. Stone three. Keaton Stone, his second three of the ball game. He's got six points. Two for four from downtown. 50% to start the game. Got to get a hand up if you're the Rams. Keaton Stone and Deshaun Hayes. Only scores for Whitehall. Five for Hayes, six for Stone. Hayes in a bit of a slump. We're going to get out of it. Three from Whitehall. The way again, it gets it to go. Cutting this lead down quickly, and Lam Coach Eddie Lamb will take a timeout. And just like that is a five-point game. Whitehall, they may be athletic, but they got shooters too. Got to be wary of that if you're Lakeside. A 6 nothing run to start the second quarter.
Parker, are we sure Anthony Davis is not down there for Whitehall right now? Lucas, he might be. I mean, I mean that might be his brother. Stepbrother, cousin something. You cannot tell me they're not related. We got to check after the game if he has a unibrow. Ball goes out of bounds. I feel like that would be an awkward conversation, though. Seconds in the shot clock. Ten seconds now. You get a shot here in the next five seconds. Sloan, floater, got it. Sloan Hayes with six so far. Great shot by Sloan Hayes. That jab step is lethal. Number two, three. Hey, good. Sloan rebound. It's a bucket to go, getting it seven points. And that's his shot to Sean Hayes, the pull-up jumper. He had an open three, but chose to go with the pull-up jumper instead, and it paid off. Finally breaking out of his little shooting slump. Can't let him get hot if you're lakeside, as Hayes' three is off the mark. Emerson driving. Great job by Purifoy defensively. But they're going to call what? the foul. What in the world? We had already gotten the rebound, and, and then he, he calls it. Waited a long time. Yeah, that was a late call. Huh. Emerson gets his first point of the game. Randy Emerson coming off a 14 points, four steal game. Gets El Dorado. And he makes both free throws. Dwight Hall is cut into this lead, cut it to three. On a 10-3 run. Howard drives, he had, had an open lane. They'll call a foul. Excuse me, on a 10-2 run. Three, Hayes, got it. What a shot from Deshaun Hayes. And Lucas, I think he might be starting to heat up as he has 10 points now. No, still four minutes left in the first half. 21 21, Purefoy wide open. Tried to go up for the dunk, I think. Should have just gone with the layup, but he'll head to the line anyway. Great look by Douglas, though, as he got Purefoy to the line. I mean, to be honest, I don't really know how you can stop Deshaun Hayes. I think you just let him get his 30 and make sure nobody else contributes. Well, wouldn't know about just letting him get his 30. 22-21 Lakeside. Boy, if Purifoy looking to make it 23, he can get this one to go. Four minutes left in the first half to get both. Three. No good for Whitehall. Stone rebound. Great pass, and the bucket is good for the Bulldogs. All tied at 23. Sloan is fat. No, they're going to jump ball, I believe. Stay with Lakeside. Cole goes up with it and gets the basket to fall. He's got five. Good job by Douglas fighting through contact. 
Howard on Hayes. Mid-range shots no good. Rebound Howard. Twenty-five, twenty-three, Lakeside. Three minutes to go. We got a foul called away from the ball on Lakeside. No, I think they call it a ten-second violation. They didn't get the ball past uh -oh. that court. Coach Eddie Lamb very upset. The Rams are still up, 25-23. Emerson, a great move, and the shot's in and out. Rebound her to see. Emerson cannot, can just not buy a bucket. I mean, I think he's missed like seven or eight in a row. Douglas three, no good. Hermosillo was there though. He did not get the basket to fall. He saved it, but it'll go to Whitehall. Hayes, great pass. Emerson, was that one blocked, Parker? I couldn't tell. I think, it, I think it was blocked by A.J. Howard. And to be honest with you, Emerson should probably stop shooting. I think he's missed like eight in a row. <laughs> Jump ball. Howard fired up. But I mean, you gotta give credit to the Rams defense. They're, a lot of the shots they're forcing to take are really tough shots. Number 12 for Whitehall on fire right now. He's at seven. Oh, tough pass. MSCO keeps it alive. Here a Foy. Oh, he's fouled. And he'll head in line again. Finger hurting a little bit. Looks like he went up with bad intentions. Twenty-five, twenty-five. Triple's first free throw is good. Twenty-six, twenty-five now. Gets both to go. River Cook will come in for Skyler Purifoy. Purifoy checks out with eight points, I believe. Wide open three, got it. The Rams not very good at perimeter so far defensively. No, I mean, they've hit several threes now. They gotta get a hand up. They're getting a ton of open looks. Howard Trapp got the ball all the way to Sloan. He gets to Hermosillo for three, no good. Rebound Keaton Stone. 28-27, Whitehall has the lead. 1.30 to go here in the first half. Hey, shot, good. Hey, Sean Hayes is heating up. He's got 12. That is a tough shot by Ja'Shawn Hayes. I mean, pull up, fade away, contested from the corner. That's smooth. And he's only a sophomore. Keep that in mind. Here for the leading score for the Rams, with eight points. Checking back in, he's only out for a moment. Might have tended to the finger, he looked like he was in pain. Three 
30 to 27, Whitehall with three point lead, a minute 20 to go in the first half. Howard driving, puts up a shot. They'll call the foul. Good aggressive drive by A.J. Howard as he'll go back to the free throw line. See if he can knock down two here, get this to a one point game. First free throw is good. Gets the second. Missed a couple earlier. Gets his redemption there, going two for two. 29 to 30. Minutes to go, Whitehall has the lead. Sloan gets the ball. One on one with Deshaun Hayes. He doesn't get it to go. Howard rebound. Puts up a shot, no good. Gets a rebound again. Got it. Great resiliency from A.J. Howard. Great effort by A.J. Howard as he has the Rams' last four points. And he's up to seven points, looks like, for the game. Rams are now up 31 to 30 with 30 seconds to go. The drive, got it. Whitehall takes the lead back. 32-31, 15 seconds to go, no shot clock. Rams can take their time. Whitehall forcing them to get the ball out. Pass goes out of bounds, Whitehall will take over. Here's Sloan Hayes, basket was no good. Rebound Howard, ended up getting. Here comes Deshaun Hayes. Buzzer sounds into the first half. Whitehall up 32 to 31. Close game. Great second half from or great second quarter from Whitehall after the Rams had a 19 to 8 lead at the end of the first. And we'll take a break. Lakeside TV is brought to you by. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M-Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Lakeside TV is brought to you by
Lakeside TV is brought to you by... Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. Success comes with me. Getting ready for the start of the second half. Whitehall up 32 to 31. Good aggressive move by A.J. Howard to get to the line to start this second half. See if he can regain the lean for Lakeside. The lead, sorry, not <laughs> the lead. First free throw is good. This is the second.
Great pass by Hayes and a great fake by number five for Whitehall. That's the advantage of being 6'7". Wide open three, bang! Jacob Hermosillo, first points of the game. Big shot by Hermosillo as he's coming into the game, shooting 35% from three. He's one for three tonight. Sloan Hayes with the steal. Great bounce pass to Howard. Doesn't get the shot to go. Hayes, another great pass. And time out by Whitehall. Fans yelling for a travel. Last time I checked, you can't fall down with the basketball. And the refs are telling Coach Lamb to calm down, but he has every right His to be feet frustrated. Came off the ground as he fell. And he hit the ground. That was a travel. Yeah, I mean, Coach Lamb is trying to be patient with the referee, but I mean, it's a pretty obvious call. Seen a few back calls tonight so far. You can only go up from here. Like once you hit rock bottom, you know you can only. Well, 35-34, Rams leading by one as Deshaun Hayes is set to inbound the ball. Oh, and a smart play. Bounced off the back of Howard, took it and got the shot to go. He's got 14 points now. That was kind of nasty, I can't lie. Pierre Foy down low, foul called, and a shoot two. Good job by Pierre Foy. He's been super aggressive tonight. Thirty-six, thirty-five, with six thirty-six to go. Now it's all tied up at thirty-six. A lot of threes and sixes on the clock right now, but Purifoy makes the second free throw, thirty-seven to thirty-six. I Rams like that. The lead. I like that. That was, that was good. I like that. Hayes, pull up, three, no good. CO3, no good off the rim. And it'll be a foul. Lead shot to go for it. That was a good aggressive board by uh, Five and Black. She got really worried with the foul call. Deep three, Stone, no good. Rebound, Douglas. Sales out of bounds. Might all take over. Rams up 37 36, 5 38 to go. Great rim protection by the Rams there. Blocked the shot, forcing out of bounds. Emerson three, no good. Hasn't made a shot tonight. Got two points in the free throw line. You know, if he were Steph Curry, I would tell him, keep shooting. It'll fall eventually. <laughs> He's not Steph Curry. Oh, man. Okay. 
Emerson gets the basket to go after you uh to prove me wrong. Emerson, I like that. I like that. Douglas down low, gets the shot to fall. Yeah, it's been great getting the ball down low with quick passes. Not giving time for the defense to... Great job by Douglas. Stone, open look, gets it to go. Stone's got eight. Second leading scorer for Whitehall behind Deshaun Hayes as they've combined for 22. Passes. Pira Foy doesn't get the shot to fall. Foul is called though, head of the line again. Pira Foy, or Pira Foy and Howard shot. So we have three free throws tonight. Pira Foy's first free throw. Makes it 40 to 40. The third quarter with four minutes and 32 seconds in the clock. Here boy makes both. Gives the Rams the lead. Good shots by Pierre Foy. Lakeside's back in the zone. up to Howard who gets the layup to go. 43 to 40, Rams have the lead. Howard has 10. 5-0 run for Lakeside. Or nope, 4-0 run, sorry. Good, rebound Howard. So far, kind of an off night for Hayes. As he had 32 his last time out and only 14 so far. Cook down low, gets the shot to go. Your coach Eddie Lamb, you gotta be telling River to put that shot up more often. He's got four. Yeah, he's a great player in the paint. Oh, Hayes falls to the ground. Not sure what happened there. The court monster. <laughs> Three is good. <laughs> we should not have said anything about Randy Emerson. Yeah, I'm kind of uh he's uh he's getting hey, back. He's layup no good. Be over the back on River Cook. I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, you should have kept the mouth shut. He scored five in a row since I said something. All good things must come to an end. Rams leading by two, 45-43, just under three to go in the third quarter. Three again from Whitehall, no good. Rebound Stone, Hayes three, bang! Yeah. John Hayes has 17 now. Yeah, he won't miss that, that's a wide open catch and shoot. Can't give that up. Eastwood three, bang! Answering back. And he won't miss that either. That's a wide open catch and shoot three for Eastwood. His second three of the game. Six points for the senior off the bench. They're going back and forth right now. Take another look. Great push ahead pass by Hayes, beat the press. And nothing but nylon for Evan Eastwood. Rams up 48-46 with 2.26 here in the third quarter. 
close game to this point. Jay Sean Hayes with 17, and like you said, Parker, at halftime, he had 12, but 12's a, a down half for him. He averaging, what'd you say, around 35 oh, yeah, points Yeah, I mean, it's game. close to 35 points per game, so a down half for him, and he only has five this quarter, but after that three, I have a feeling he might be starting to heat up. Can't give him any open looks. Can't even give him contested looks, but that's not even possible, so. Not possible to contest. Who no, like it's it's not possible to not give him contested look. Like I messed up. I'm sorry. Drive by Whitehall. He throws the ball up in the air, and they still get the layup to go. Forty-eight, forty-eight. Kicks it out to Hermosillo for three. Bang! Jacob Hermosillo. Back to back threes in the same corner for Lakeside. Two for five from three for Hermosillo. That was a big shot. Stone shot good. Foot was on the line. Foot was on the line. See if they can look for Hermosillo again as he's made two threes this quarter. Great pass. Wow, Paul Doerr, Keaton Stone. Is it Keaton or Ethan? Keaton. Where did you get, where did you get Ethan I, from? I, I don't know. They kind of sound alike. Hermosillo drive, shot up, no good. Rebound, Whitehall. Good job by the Rams, forcing them back, not letting them get into transition. Problem with the clock. I love the shot clock, but it does bring some malfunctions every now and then. But so does everything in life, if you think about it. Hey, he's put a shot. Got it. 52, what a 52, shot. 51, Whitehall. Yeah, that was, that was kind of nasty, that. A little crossover pull up. 35 seconds to go. Oh, now we're getting the ball back. Eastwood down to Cook. Could it retain it. Puts it up, got it. River Cook, give that man more minutes. A little hectic possession there for the Rams, but hey, it don't matter, it went in. And they got a one point lead, but 10 to go, 53-52. 10 seconds. Hayes drives, shot is good. Jay Sean Hayes heating up, oh, he still lost the ball, doesn't matter. End of the third quarter, Whitehall leads 54-53. A great game here tonight. Jay Sean Hayes leading the Bulldogs with 21. Skyler Purifoy, I believe, leading the Rams with 12. Yeah. Here's a look at the baby hook flip shot by River Cook. Double team, didn't matter. Absorbed the contact and great play by River Cook. And as for Ja'Shawn Hayes, scored nine points in the third quarter. Most of them coming at the end. So he's definitely, he's definitely heated up. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. 
Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. go final quarter of play Howard great move does not get the basket to go stone falls out of bounds on the call for a travel good call by the ref as it was clearly a travel number CO3 Jacob Hermosillo. He is heating up, folks. And if you're Whitehall, that is a scary sight. Three for six from downtown. All three have been in the second half. He's on fire. High pass, Stone retrieves it. Shot from Hayes, no good. And a foul called on Sloan Hayes. 56-54, Lakeside has the lead with seven minutes to go in the ball game. Drive by Whitehall, what a shot. Number 25 for the Bulldogs. Yeah, that was a great finish through the contact from his own teammate. Hayes driving, gets it to Purifoy, who is fouled at the line again. Hayes is just making so many things happen offensively. I mean, he he beat Hayes on the press. Oh, they, whoa, they're both Hayes. I, I didn't realize that. Well, Sloan Hayes beat Deshaun Hayes on the press and then dumped it off to Purifoy. And they both run number three, Parker. My God, they do. What in the world? Just now picking up on that. That's good. Wow. <laughs> Hayes versus Hayes. Only took you three quarters <laughs> to find out. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. I'll, I'll do better next time. Second free throw is good for Purifoy. 58-56, Rams have the lead, under seven minutes to go. Great ball pressure by Son Hayes. Timeout, Whitehall. Hayes was in trouble. They called a foul, foul. Oh. Well, well, Not, I, that was a little confusing. Yeah, it was, pretty, it was a pretty weak foul, but. Good Stole hands. Away. Some poked it loose to Purifor. 58-56. Rams have the lead. For the Rams, you want to get Hermosillo an open look, or Eastwood an open look from the perimeter. Instead, it's a turnover, but Purefoy stays fighting for it. Jump ball, Whitehall will take the ball. Good job by Five and Black, forcing the jump ball. See if Lakeside can respond on defense. Three is no good. Got to get set on defense. Hayes drives. Charge. Great job by Purifoy. The Whitehall head coach is incredulous. As he's screaming he wasn't set. But according to the refs, he was, and it's Lakeside basketball. Hayes just fly, trying to fly by Sean Hayes, and Sloan Hayes gets it to go. That's a really tough shot. I mean, he, he makes it look easy, but that, that's a tough shot. Four-point lead for the Rams, 60-56, five and a half to go. Eight points for Sloan Hayes. He's one of the key players in this game. Right at his season average. 
Hayes, wide open three, no good. Great job by Sloan. Close out, drive. A weak call there. Looked like Purefoy was straight up, but I guess the contact alone was enough for the foul. Next side up, 60 to 56, 5, 16 to go. River Cook getting ready to check in. Been very good when he is in. He's got six points. Comes in for Purefoy. Makes the second. Sixty to fifty-eight. Sloan Hayes, beautiful move to River Cook, who slams it home. Sixty-two to fifty-eight. Dunked by River Cook. Everybody's been telling me he can dunk. Effortlessly, and I've seen it with my own eyes. Here's a look at the great drive by Hayes. Dumps it off and lands it. Playmaker of the night for the Rams in the paint. Yeah, he he's playing like a man possessed tonight. I mean, eight points, career game for River Cook. But the spin move, though, to get Hayes in the paint, that was nice, too. Sloan Hayes has been outstanding for the Rams tonight. One of the biggest reasons they've got this lead. You could just say Hayes has been outstanding, you know, because they've both been good. <laughs> Rebound, River Cook. 62 to 59. Cook is open down low, puts up a shot, he's fouled, and he'll head to the line. Looking to hit double digits off the bench. First free throw is no good. Here comes Emerson Stone. But misses the second. 62 59. Lakeside has the lead. 4.35 to go. Emerson drives. Great job by River Cook. And Hermosillo's got the ball. Yeah, that was a great rejection by River Cook. Ball's tipped. Stolen away by Stone. The drive this time is good for Whitehall. 62-61, 4.15 to go. Got to get the ball up court quickly. Try and get it to River Cook down low if he can. Good job by the Rams breaking the press. Eastwood's trapped, stolen away again by Whitehall. Three on one, and a foul called on Sloan Hayes. Whitehall starting to force some turnovers here late. Gotta be careful for the Rams. Sixty-two, sixty-one. Now 62-62 as that free throw tied it up. 3.54 to go. Second free throw is good. Gives Whitehall the lead with under four minutes to go. Stolen away again by Whitehall. Rams having a <coughs> hard time breaking the press. Got to get a rebound, they do. And Hayes has to take it away to jump ball and stay with the Rams. 
It should stay with the Rams, but yeah, the Whitehawk coach is like pointing their way in it. Yeah. Timeout, Lakeside. 62-63, 3.32 to go. Whitehall has the lead. Forced a couple turnovers. Put them back in this game. Let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for the Rams. Three straight away games coming up for Lakeside. It's a tough, tough three teams too, Parker. Yeah, I mean, those, what did you say? <laughs> cool, anyway. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I, I did not hear you. And then Home versus Sheridan, we'll be broadcasting that one live on February 10th. Be there or be square. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's funny, that's funny. Rams finally able to get it up court. And they send it back up to the logo just about. And another turnover. Keaton Stone is grimacing in pain on the other end. It's four on five. Howard blocking Hayes there. I guess the ref didn't notice Keaton Stone was on the ground. And he'll get the ball here. Three minutes to go. Whitehall up 63-62. Yeah, I don't know why the Rams are trying to break the press so fast. I feel like they just got to calm down a little bit. Hayes puts up a shot. No good. Rebound Hermosillo. Gotta, don't let Whitehall speed up your pace. Rams got to slow it down. They get it up court. to Purifoy who is blocked. I believe it's Stone gets a shot to go and he's fouled. Rams falling apart here in the late stretch. As it's 63-62. It was 65-62. 65-62. They've not updated the score yet. There it is. 2.41 on the clock. Stone will shoot one. And he gets it to go. Four point lead for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs currently on an 8-0 run, thanks to the press. Howard's just gotta keep moving to the basket. Blocked again, Purifoy goes up with it, and he's fouled. Great job by Purifoy. Right place at the right time. Big play there for Skylar Purifoy and the Rams. Purifoy free throw, no good. He's got 16 points. Got robbed, just halfway down and out. Rebound, Purifoy for a missed shot by Emerson. Don't freak out here if you're the Rams, good pass. Three on one, Emerson three! That boy is ice cold. Four, Four threes. For seven. Four in the second half. That's offensive foul. Hayes. That's offensive foul. I mean, push off. What am I saying? Stone three. Dang. 67 69. Bulldogs have the lead. We'll Here's a look at the three. At the three by Hermosillo. I mean, catch and shoot, that, that's butter. I mean, did that play after that, though, when Deshaun Hayes had the ball? Did that not look like a clear push-off? It off? looked like a push-off. I mean, full extension of the arm. I mean, you, you got to call that. You know, with the game on the line, I mean, there's, what, minute 49 left, and then it ended up leading to a three off the rebound. You got to make that call. Sloan Hayes tried to sell it the best he could. Maybe if he would have fallen to the ground or something, they would have maybe given him the call. Yeah, because, I mean, when players fall to the ground, they call everything, so. Whitehall up 67 to 69. 
But I will say the Rams have played really good defense on Hayes, especially in the fourth quarter, because he came into the fourth with 21, and he has zero in the fourth. So he has not scored in the fourth quarter. I'm pretty sure. Sixty-nine, sixty-seven. Whitehall up by two with a minute forty-nine to go. Number is going to post up in that corner as Sloan Hayes brings it down. Howard keeps the ball alive to Douglas. Hermosillo is open if they can get. Told Douglas, please step out of bounds. I mean, there's really nothing you can do if you're Douglas. I mean, he's trapped in the corner an inch away from the baseline. They just set him up for failure. I mean, didn't give him any options. Guy got to stop here for the Rams. Cannot give up a three. 69-67, Whitehall leads, a minute 20 to go. They got to figure out a way to get the ball out of Deshaun Hayes' hands. 15 seconds on the shot clock. And they just want to drain this clock. Three from Hayes. No good, rebound, told Douglas. Got to move the ball up court, a minute to go, down two. Douglas got the ball again to Hermosillo in the corner. Great defense by the Bulldogs. Howard driving. Great job defensively by the Rams. Stone takes the mid-range shot, doesn't knock it down. Cannot get a rebound, and Hayes gets the basket to go. 30 seconds. Down four, Purefoy down low. He's fouled. Chaotic sequence there. The Rams had several chances to get the board. Just couldn't quite get their hands on it. And ended the ball ended up in the very wrong person's hands with Hayes. And he made him pay. He's up to 23, and that free throw from Purefoy is a big miss. You gotta at least make one. You have to at least make one. Park of this game has gone pretty similar to the girls' game. I mean, turnovers have been a thorn on the side of the Rams. It's close late. Yeah, I mean, it's been a close game the whole game. Really back and forth. Um, Rams had a four-point lead, 62-58, and then Whitehall went on an 8-0 run and haven't given up the lead since. Just some unlucky bounces. Like that last one just fell right into Deshaun Hayes' hands and he made him pay. Really, I mean, the Rams have played great defense on him. They've held him to an off night, really only 23 points, about 10 points under his season average. So, I mean, he dropped 44 on Hamilton earlier in the year, so to only give up 23, I think, is a win for the Rams. See if they can knock down the free throw here, get this to one possession. This is Purefoy's second free throw. 28 seconds. Big free throw here. Gets it to go. Looks like they subbed in Evan Eastwood for Purefoy. More quickness on the court defensively. Douglas fouls with 24 seconds to go. 
You gotta hope for two misses if you're lakeside. First free throw is no good. Right haul up, 71, 68, 24 seconds. You know, you got to think, if he does miss this one, you run a play for Hermosillo for a three in the corner. He was one for four, and since then he's hit three in a row. Hermosillo so, whispered something to Sloan Hayes. What could it be? Makes the second free throw, down four. Got to hurry if you're the Rams. Clock started a little late, but Home court advantage. Hermosillo, three. No good rebound, Whitehall, and that will most likely do it here tonight. And foul, Emerson. Rough night for Lakeside basketball. It wasn't a bad look, it was a good look. Just hit, just hit back iron. It's a little off. Yeah, Ram, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, partner. I was just going to say the Rams are still alive with the miss here. Well. <laughs> Seven seconds to go. Hayes threads the needle through two defenders. Throws up a big three. No good. And they'll foul, but that'll do it. They won't even shoot the free throw. 73 to 68, the final. The Whitehall Bulldogs win it. Rams go over two. It was a great game. And that was actually the exact same score that Whitehall beat El Dorado by. 73 to 68, interesting enough. I want to thank our sponsors. Yeah, it was a great game by both teams. Really held Deshaun Hayes in check, only 23 points. Hard fought game. Thank you for joining the broadcast. I'm Lucas Tuberville. And I'm Parker Hudnall. God bless and go Rams.